Think about the solar power calculators we use in schools. As long as there's sunlight, then it's all good. But what if there's no sunlight? What happens then? This makes us ask the question, is renewable energy here to stay and can be fully dependent upon to meet our daily needs? Or will we have to wait for us to have enough energy to power our daily lives? Stay tuned to discover the answers in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey joined with my dad, Travis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will analyze the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy sources. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy. As we move toward a carbon pollution free future, wind power, geothermal energy, solar energy, hydropower, tidal energy, hydrogen, and other renewable technologies are becoming widely popular energy sources worldwide. Countries, corporations, and individuals are adopting clean energy for several great benefits, from reduced air pollution to financial savings. In today's video, we'll dive into some of the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy. Let's begin with the advantages first. Number one, renewable energy won't run out. Renewable energy technologies use resources straight from the environment to generate power. These energy sources include sunshine, wind, tides, and biomass. Renewable resources won't run out, which cannot be said for many types of fossil fuels. As we use fossil fuel resources, they will be increasingly difficult to get, likely driving up both the cost and negative impact fossil fuels have on the environment. Number two, maintenance requirements are lower for renewable energy. Renewable energy systems usually require less overall maintenance than generators that use traditional fuel sources. This is because generating technology like solar panels and wind turbines either have few or no moving parts and don't rely on flammable, combustible fuel sources to operate. Fewer maintenance requirements means more time and money saved. Number three, renewable energy saves money. Using renewable energy can help you save money long term. Not only will you save on maintenance costs, but also on operating costs. You don't have to pay to refuel when you're using a technology that generates power from the sun, wind, steam, or natural processes. The amount of money you will save using renewable energy can vary depending on several factors, including the technology itself. In most cases, transitioning to renewable energy means anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars in savings monthly or yearly. Number four, renewable energy leads to cleaner water and air. When you burn fossil fuels to generate electricity, it contaminates the air and water we use. For example, coal power stations release high volumes of carbon dioxide nitrous oxide, and harmful toxins like mercury, lead, and sulfur dioxide. Health problems from ingesting these elements can be dangerous and even fatal. Investing in renewable energy is a great way to work against these risks, as renewable energy has far lower negative impact on our air and water quality. The use of fossil fuels emits greenhouse gases and other harmful pollutants that lead to respiratory and cardiac health issues. With renewable energy, you're helping to decrease the pollutants prevalence and contributing to a healthier environment. Number five, having our own renewable energy lowers reliance on energy sources from other countries. With renewable energy technologies, you can produce energy locally. The higher the amount of our energy use is renewable, the less we rely on imported energy and the more we'll contribute to US energy independence. Having our own renewable energy sources can help us minimize the conflicts and risk associated with fossil fuels and have more control over how much we pay to access energy sources. Number six, renewable energy creates new jobs. While the United States shifts its focus to combat global warming, we're setting ambitious carbon reduction goals that require labor to get the job done. Today, the renewable energy sector provides jobs to three times as many people as fossil fuel companies do in the US. That number is expected to rise over the next few years, and as a plus, these jobs tend to pay above average wages, making it a desirable career option and an overall economic boom. Number seven, renewable energy can help solve our waste problem. Specifically, biomass energy can offer a significant benefit in this way. 
biomass generators consume used organic products like vegetable oil, corn, and soybean byproducts, and even algae to generate energy. Because of this, using biomass as an energy source can reduce the amount of waste that goes into landfills, which helps cut down on carbon emissions and environmental contaminations. Quick check for understanding. Write your top three advantages of renewable energy and explain why. Pause the video and take three minutes to respond. We're excited to hear your brilliant responses. Now let's move on to disadvantages of renewable energy. Renewable energy has many benefits, but it's not always sunny when it comes to renewable energy. Here are some cons of renewable energy when compared to traditional fuel sources. Number one, higher upfront costs. While you can save money using renewable energy, the technologies are typically more expensive up front than traditional energy generators. To combat this, financial incentives such as tax credits and rebates are available to help alleviate your initial or startup costs of renewable technology. Number two, lack of consistency. Even though renewable energy resources are available around the world, many of these resources aren't available 24 seven year round. Some days may be windier than others, the sun doesn't shine at night, and droughts may occur at different periods of time. Unpredictable weather events can disrupt these technologies and the amount of energy we can get from renewable power sources can be inconsistent. Fossil fuels are not intermittent or inconsistent and power plants can be turned on or off at any time to provide an energy supply unlike renewable energy. Number three, storage capabilities. Because of the inconsistencies of some renewable energy sources, there is a high need for energy storage. Storage technologies are available but can be expensive, especially for large-scale renewable energy plants. It's worth noting that energy storage capacity is growing as the technology progresses and batteries are becoming more affordable as time passes. Number four, graphic limitations. The United States has a diverse geography with varying climates, topographies, vegetation, etc. This creates a beautiful melting pot of landscapes but also means that some geographies are more suitable for renewable technologies than others. For example, a large property in a rural area with open space may be an excellent place for a residential wind farm or a large-scale solar farm. At the same time, a townhome in a city covered in shade from taller buildings wouldn't be able to reap the benefits of either technology. There are other options if your property isn't suitable for a person who wants to use renewable energy technology. If you're interested in solar but don't have a sunny property, you can often still benefit from renewable energy by purchasing green power or enrolling in a community solar option. Number five, not 100% carbon free. Although solar panels and other forms of renewable energy drastically reduce carbon emissions, these resources aren't always completely clean. The manufacturing, transportation, and installation of renewable energy like wind turbines can create a carbon footprint since they're usually produced in factories powered by fossil fuels. Not to mention the diesel and gasoline needed to fuel these transport trucks. As the US becomes more and more electrified from solar panels on factories to electric transport trucks, carbon emissions associated with solar will continue to decrease. Number six, supply chain constraints. Renewable energy must have an effective distribution network created to transfer the energy where it is needed on a large scale. These networks need non-renewable fuels to be generated, which offsets the benefits of renewable energy for a bit until it is paid back. Additionally, politics can play a factor in its down renewable energy if it's not a priority among local governments. Quick check for understanding. Write three concerns you have about renewable energy and explain why. Pause the video and take three minutes to respond. You got this. In summary, renewable energy poses major benefits and concerns for our energy needs of the future. It does for the most part provide us clean energy without further polluting the environment, but can also be unreliable at times as well. The good thing is, is that the technologies used to generate renewable energy is getting better and better by the day. Who knows, we may be living like the Jetsons in 2050. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 
80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day. Solid work, team. See you on the ground. To me, my X-Men.